that our workers must have had it. That everyone that served God prospered. If you, are, if you claim to be a child of God and you are not prospering, something is wrong somewhere. Now, and today we are looking at, I don't even know the parts because we have it in several series. Now, today, last week Sunday, I told you that we are looking at the God that made Abraham rich from under wealth creation. So, put it, wealth creation, main topic, part two, God that made Abraham rich. How God made Abraham rich. Last week, I told you that God said to Abraham, leave your father and mother to where, uh, leave your father and mother. And I told us that God had to call Abraham out of his father and mother's environment in order to change his mindset. And I told us last week, I believe one of the reasons why God told Abraham to come out is this. At 75, Abraham married in his father's house and was still following his father around and they were not irritated that Abraham was still around them. And I said last week Sunday, anybody that loves you to the point of taking your responsibility for you is killing you. And it was Aye, Yahu mi ma dao, Yahu bi angeli lolorun fun mi, Yahu yen ba ti eje ni o. Ko gbo daada. You must understand what your responsibilities are. Now, can you imagine obi ti o to mo? Won lo mo won awon Yoruba lo ma nko rin won ni aroju o le a o mu. Omo yin o salapata o nkeran wale. You know, omo to je ke o si wa la be yin to ye ke se ma ko to ye ke se ma no wo le eko e o nti school ra so wa fun yin mummy o wa n school o nfo wo o nfo wo ran se si yin pe ma wo ri mo ma send wo si ma credit account yin inu yin de nu pe tin dun je omo e nba to mo yen je ni o omo yen gan tun ba ye yin je ni o you must understand that o lolorun se so fun ibrahim pe wo kan to ba ti e je 75 years old man ko send to so fun e pe ko le yin wa leave your father and mother to where i will show you so I told us last week Sunday, that was where it's, his wealth started when God told him to leave. For him to begin to carry his own responsibility by himself. Are you getting what I'm saying? So today we are going to look at the second thing God told Abraham. Let's go to the book of Genesis. Genesis, are you there? Go to Genesis chapter 12, verse 5 to verse 7. Genesis chapter 12, verse 5 to verse 7. So don't forget, Abraham had gone out. Genesis chapter 5, uh, 12, 5 to, not Psalm 3, 3. Genesis 12, 5 to 7. In honor of God's word, can we all be on our feet so that we can read together? Yes, let's be on our feet. Let's be on our feet. I just pity our choir now under this serious heat. Sorry. Hmm? You just have to endure. Some of them cannot off it because they know what they were. Uh, you can go and remove it if you are not because that the heat I'm, some of you are just sweating on the seat it is well oh yeah let's read after the count of three I'll read verse five you read verse six then we read seven together and Abraham took Sarah his wife and Lot his brother's son and all their substance that they had gathered and the souls that they had gotten in Haran and they went forth to go into the land of Canaan and into the land of Canaan, they came. Now you will read verse 6 and we will read 7 together. Let's go. And Abraham passed through the land unto the place of Sh Sh Sihem, unto the plain of Moreh. And the Canaanite was, was then in the land. Now let's read 7 together. One, two, and let's go. And the Lord appeared unto Abraham and said, Unto thy seed will I give this land. And they, are, and they builded he an altar unto the Lord who appeared unto him. Now remain standing. I want to show you something here. Look at this verse 7. And the Lord appeared unto Abraham, Abraham and, said unto, and said, Unto thy seed. Which seed? 
Now, as at the time God was speaking to Abraham here, he didn't have a child. Now, and he had been married for several years and still trusting God for a child. It's just like, I'm just, let me just look at uh, a young person now and I'm saying, uh, you see, uh, you see, oh, okay, we have Apo here. Apo is trusting God. God will surprise you very soon. You know, let me say, uh, Abraham, uh, uh, sorry, I didn't say Abraham. Uh, Apo, Apo, you by me. I speak to you, your children shall be great. And I'm saying, Apo, begin to build. Because there's land for your children along Olondaba. You know, there's one place called Olondaba. I'm just using example now. What am I trying to tell Apo? What was God trying to tell? God was trying to tell Abraham to begin to put some pictures in his mind. Now listen. When God wants to prosper you, he gives you a vision for the future. Can I tell you this truth? There are so many pictures that have hindered your progress. And if those pictures that you have in your head is not removed, you may not progress. Some of you, the pictures that your parents gave you, oh, sit down, sit down because of your legs. The pictures that your parents gave, it's not that they gave you directly, the pictures that you, that you received from your parents are the pictures limiting the life of so many of you. Some of you saw your parents at certain level and you have come to believe that that is the level that is due to you. So God said to Abraham, Abraham, see, see, I'm speaking that this land is for your, God started talking to him about descendants. So Abraham's thinking and picture change. I wrote here, we are going to learn something. For you to get to the realm of wealth, you need to apply the law of great new pictures. Write it like that, I will explain. The law of great new pictures. Great new pictures. Obodobes nili awa awonon la tun tun to yato si awonon to ti ibi to ti mbo to wa lo kwen. You can never be greater than what you see. I come again. You can't be greater than what you see. You can't be greater than what you consistently see. That's why you see that some people, are, they, they made a research. Let me explain like this. They made a research. They tied a horse, a nice looking horse. They tied it to one pole. And the length of the rope was very short. One day, Eshi, Moara, Igi, Okuntande, Fide, Kogun. So tie shin yen ba ti fe lo si waju okun yen ma fa pada. To ba ti fe lo si waju okun yen ma fa pada. To ba ti fe lo si waju won de fi le sibe fun bi 21 days. Ogun le kan abi how do you call 21? Aha whatever. Mo kan le logun abi. Sister Edewu mi bi gba to ye give mo shi so. I ain't gonna let more you ba. Aha. <laughs> abi mo kan le logun abi eh ibo tun so yo ba fun yo ba e jo kini 21 yo ba e yin yo ba e fi yen le you know for 21 days follow me they tied that horse after 21 days they now told them go and loose that rope that they used to tie the horse do you know that as they lose the rope, they now put food at a distance that was far away from the length of the rope that held it for 21 days. They discover that when the horse moves to the point of that rope that has been removed from its neck already, it will stop. Do you know why? The rope was removed physically, but it was not removed in his mind. I will teach you how God changes. God wants to change the picture of your mind. Though. Hear me. Hello. You will see so many people are limited today. If you ask some young ladies that are not working, if you ask some young ladies that are doing certain kind of business, if you ask them, why can't you go beyond this? You will find out that it is the picture they have in their mind 
that is limiting them. Jesus our Lord in Luke chapter 5. Let's go there from verse 5 to verse 11. Luke chapter 5 from verse 5 to verse 11. Was going for evangelism. He got to that point he wanted to preach. He entered into the boat belonging to Peter. And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. Listen, at thy word, I will let, da let down the net. Verse 6. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. Move on. And they beckoned unto their partners. Take note of the word partners. Which were in the other ship that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the ships so that they began to sink. Take note of all these words. When Simon saw it, he fell at, his, at Jesus' knees saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man. O Lord, next verse. Move fast, move fast, move fast, move fast. Oh Lord, we are stopping at verse 11. For he was astonished and all that were with him at the draught of the fishes which they had taken. Verse 10. Verse 10. And so was also who? James. And who? John. The sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, fear not. Wait, hold on. And Jesus said unto Simon, fear not. For from henceforth thou shalt catch men. I want to change something about you. Now, Bible record shows us that they were cousins. Peter's father was a fisherman. Peter's brother, Andrew, fisherman. Peter himself, fisherman. His cousin, John, fisherman. And his second cousin, James, fisherman. Now, why is it that all of them were into the fishing business? That was what they saw. And I, like I said, you cannot be greater than what you con consistently see. Do you know that so many of you have graduated from universities, you are still looking for a job till tomorrow? Do you know why? That is what you have been seeing. You don't know more than employment. All you saw from your foundation is, I get out of university, get a job, and get salary. Hello, am I communicating? I didn't hear you now. Ah. So, for God to change your life, hear me, the pictures in your mind must change. For God to change your life, your vision, the picture I'm talking about is talking about your dream, your vision. If it does not change, your life cannot change. So when God started to say to Abraham, 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 he said, sir, this land I will give to your descendants. You know what God was saying to Abraham? You have gotten to a point now, I want you to start to think of a future even for your unborn children. Ah, it means, Lord, I don't have a child now. I, I, I'm not dreaming of a child now because I don't have a child now. That was what he was saying before. That's why this morning, God has sent me, God has sent me to you. So many of you are limited. You are greater in the inside but small outside. And the reason is because your parents have given you a kind of picture that is limiting your life. Some of you, some of you, your parents didn't go beyond the city where you are. So, just like, I will tell you another story again. I read this one in a book written by Pastor Matthew Ashimolo about a woman who every single time she catches a very big fish, she fries fish, she catches a very big fish, she will throw it back into the sea. Ah, if, the, if they draw the net and she sees big fish, she will throw it back into the sea. So somebody asks her, why are you throwing the big fish back to the sea and you are keeping the small ones in your bucket? He said, because my fry pan is small. Can you see? So she was looking for fish the size of her fry pan. She didn't think of cutting them. Am I communicating? Oh God, are you sure you are here? So God, okay, let me not go too fast. Praise the Lord. So God said to Abraham, he started talking about Abraham's future. 
Imagine God gave a promise even when he did not have a seed. Why? God wanted to give him a new picture. I wrote here, beloved, do you know that vision has the power to do these three things for you? Number one, vision has the power to keep you alive by giving you reason to live. I have seen two of our friends that died because they were saying, now I want to retire and rest. The first one, I attended his burial. At the burial, I was touched. They said he was saying, I want to retire. He, was, he wants to retire and rest. In life, there is nothing like retire and rest. You don't know that vision keeps... There was a time I was very, very sick. Very, very sick. And I had to preach in a church convention. I preached the first day. I was okay. But that night, I go back. I was seriously sick. The second day morning, I was, in fact, I was shaking when the pastor called me. The pastor said, Pastor Prince, Pastor Prince, I was rushed to the hospital. Can you stand in for me today? Me that was answering him was under blanket. I was shivering. <laughs> and as he said, please, can you stand in for me today? I look at the time, it was five. When am I preaching? He said, 6.30. Did you know that I got all right? Prepared the message. When to preach? By the time I finished preaching, I got home. <laughs> I went back under the blanket. I now went to see my doctor friend. I said, doctor, wait. Wait, I don't understand. Why did I become suddenly okay when I had a preaching engagement? He said there is this particular hormone in the human body that whenever you have something important to do, it will send a signal to the brain, energize the body to do it, and after it is done, it will relax. Ah. That's why, hear me, vision has capacity. That's why a wise man said, don't ever get to any point in your life where you will not have any new thing to pursue. Don't ever get to a point in your life where there will be not, if you have achieved all your dreams, set another one. Because vision has the capacity to keep you alive. Do you know why? It will give you reason to be alive. But hear me. A dead man is not the one that does not have life. It's a man that is living without a purpose. He's dead. Let there be a new shop in your mind. A new business that you want to start. A new program that you want to run. Let there be a new thing. A new project. That's why you see, God said to Abraham, as he was coming out, Abraham, this land, I will give to your descendants. So Abraham began to think of a descendant. Vision keeps you alive. If you see anyone that is thinking of suicide, that's why you must never get to any point in your life where there is nothing new you dream of. Dream something again. Vision keeps us alive. It gives us the reason to live. It gives us reason to live. Say after me, I command my vision eyes. Open in the name of Jesus. I didn't hear your voice. Number two. Vision has the power to change your habit and determine your future. Vision has the power to change your habit and determine your future. A visionless person does not have good, any character. Kuni pattern for life. And it's you, Nino, Kuni pattern. Can you pattern you, Bano? Can you pattern you, Bano? Can you help me? Kuni ilanaton tele. He's just flowing in any direction. It is vision that changes your pattern and, and what? And determines your future. Hear me. Everybody has future, but it is character, habits that makes us to reach it. 
Why is it that some people cannot become great? It is their habit. Have you noticed? Look up. Look up. We were doing a research and we discovered that it is the poor that gives birth to more children than the rich. Have you not noticed? And we will be more Do you know why? Do they don't have land. Go and find out. Go and find out. Go and find out. You will see that the, the poor spend more than the rich. You will see more of the poor people in ShopRite. You will see more of the poor people in Domino's Pizza. Why? They don't have anything they are pursuing. So whenever they get any opportunity, Ah, ewo, o ti peta ti jobe boko to. Abi? Ah, e tin bi nu. Abi dadi wa. Ah, o ti o ti peta ti je boko to. Mommy wa, o ya wa lo si, wa lo si challenge, lo si cha. I know it cannot be you. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying? The poor because they don't have vision. It is vision that changes your habit and the habit gives you a future. Now, look at the thought thing I discover again. The thought thing I discover, we are going towards wealth and we all will get there in Jesus' name. Yeah. Do you know that it is vision that changes your language? Yes. You don't talk trash anymore. You don't talk trash anymore. It is vision that changes your language. You talk like a, pen, a man of purpose because you have vision. So God said to Abraham, change your picture. Let me ask you, which picture do you have on your head? Which picture are you seeing? Do you know some people have a, a, a kind of picture that uh -uh, they live on lock. That's why you can't stop them from gambling. God said to Abraham, your descendants. Now let's go deeper. Beloved, let's look at ways that God gives us vision that will make us walk towards wealth and become wealthy. Let's look at four. When God wants to give us vision, he uses four ways. Number one, God can give you vision by placing a penina around you. Especially when you feel so relaxed at your level. Who is a penina? For Samuel chapter one, Ejeka Loka. For Samuel chapter one, from verse 1. Be fast with that. 1 Samuel chapter 1 from verse 1. Shagada Baskenele. Let's read. Now there was a certain man of Ramat Zophim of Mount Ephraim and his name was Elikana, the son of Jeroham, the son of Elihu, the son of Tohu, the son of Zuf, and Ephraite. Yes, Ephraite. Yes, and he had two wives. The name of one was Hannah. And the name of the other, Penina. Penina had children, but Hannah had no children. Colomo, verse 3. Move on. Move on. And this man went up out of the city yearly to worship, sorry, yearly to sacrifice unto the Lord of us in Shiloh. And the two sons of Eli, Ophnin and Finance, the priests of the Lord, were there. Verse 4. And when the time was that Elikana offered, he gave to Penina his wife and to all her sons and her daughters portions. Verse 5. But what, whenever it comes to uh, uh, Hannah's sign, but unto Anna, he gave a worthy portion. For he loved Anna, but the Lord shut up her womb. Verse 6. Verse 6. And her adversary, does what? Also provoked her. Wait. When God wants to give you a vision, what will he do? He will steer up a penina. Who are peninas? Peninas are provokers. Cherry, I want to mbue ye. One shot tie. Olon run run e si run run si e. Koju e le la si run tun tun. They look at you and call you and say, "Eri, eri, etu timbo." Ewo ata mi le ni o lo tode ni and we lo mbo wagba. But what you call for any first attack? Relax. Relax. 
God is trying to give you a new vision to think in other direction. Your provokers are not your enemies. Your mockers are not your enemies. Hello? Or you, are, you have a neighbor that uh, every time they put on their agenda, they will allow you to connect your own. But you are shocked. You got home that night. They put on their agenda. Lights did not come into your room. Ah, uh-uh. And you are looking at the wire. You are looking at the wire. You are looking at the wire. God is telling you something. Can I tell you this truth? Peninas have helped me in life. I remember those years when we just got married. Could you see? You know? I went, I, anytime there is need, I will go to my mom. My mommy, hey, wo, ko sing kong kong, che mo ki she ulua lan she, ko se unje o, he mo ki she ulua lan she, ko so unje o, mommy, ah, mommy will give me rice, at times she will give me beans, at times she will give me gari, then she will even put one or two pampas in the nylon, oh yeah, lo lo for more. But this particular day, she became a, a penina for me to progress. I will ever be grateful for that day. As I got to their house that day, and mommy, mommy could sing kotama. It was a Saturday morning. Could sing kotama? sing In fact, she said, "Moti eti wole mi intendo kong buma. Moti mu, moti she ako rice, moti ti ikebo kimbu mokongbo." I just heard from the other room, eh, pastor, pastor, your sister said they will not buy food to my house again because they know that you are the one that used to come and take it. Ah uh-uh. ah. If God has called you, as he called your wife to, what was she doing? She was passing a message. The cup of rice fell from my hand. I didn't, I was not angry with her, but I was angry with myself. That why should I, I, can't I do something else? Can't I do anything to this condition? And I said, mommy, I'm going. Oh, bumoni, amuni muko need, muwa, okay. And she knows me very well. Paste. I said, ma. She called me paste. Paste. I said, ma. Lord Burai said, Buewa. Mushu no. Mommy, mommy, don't worry. I'm okay. Ni waju alon ate yomi o ni owo moto. Timba de fe ronu positively. Moman trek. Ah, moti trek lato jo waliri kin li ronu. Ah, Moan Bo, Moshim Bo, Moan Ro, Lord, what is the way out? Some of you did not know. Share, okay? Uh, uh, Mama's shop started yesterday. No. Iwaju Lebi, Tartin Scott, Igbati Modili, Mosofuya, Omepe Kila Mashi. Do you know that that was where my wife started business? In front of the house. One can go and one bata, bata, tafish, a wedding sitter, and one can know one loss, okay, one balan, we want display. Bag and shoe. Once I you Kampala. Want to display? want E ibutu ye ko change ye o ti wa mo e lara. O ma ni ku sinu osi o. Oro ami nikan ko laju ni mo so fun e. God at times to give us vision. I always thank God for that day. Say here. I didn't hear you. Listen. When you feel so irritated, sorry, when you feel so relaxed at your level, God will steer Peninas up. When you feel so relaxed, only landlord, there's a man, boy. Only my landlord, go to your tenant. Oh, you're a tier, tier, but that. Oh, you're a tier, tier, yeah, then sorry, then okay. And landlord, what is of me? What if I'm not sure? That's from last year. Let me kind of king, but we're not. I mean, king, but we're not. And then she can't can only live only. I wrote something down. Take note of this. This is why you must be very, very sensitive. Hear me. Peninas are to use their mockery as a tool of remembrance. 
to let you know that you haven't gotten to your bus stop. Peninas are to use their tool of mockery. Sorry, Peninas are to use their mockery as a tool of remembrance to let you know that you have not gotten to your bus stop. Well, my tea, relax. My tea is okay. Eh, Bolon je damiri. Eh, bima je luli ayemi forever. No, 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 no. Don't ever get to that point. You now conclude that your condition is permanent. Tap your neighbor. Say neighbor. I didn't hear. Say neighbor. Can you see a miracle? I see one for you. Receive it in Jesus' name. Tell that neighbor. Prophesy to that. Listen. I wrote here in brackets. Warning. And make sure you hype this for me, those of you behind uh, uh, hyping our words. Do not allow the encouragement of Elikana quench the desire for positive change. The Penina's provocation steered in you. Take note of this. Do not allow what? The encouragement of Elikana Quench the desire for positive change that Penina's provocations tear up in you. Please, let's continue reading that for Samuel. Do you know that every time T. Penina about his sorrow, oh, oh, look at you, a gaushi. Tiana about his suku, Elikana will come on in the ama worry. She me will draw mommy jail of when And anytime he encourages her, what happened? Hannah will forget. But this particular day, look at it. Where am I? Where? Show me the scripture. And her adversary also provoked her soul for to make her fret because the Lord has shut up her womb. Verse 7. And as he did so, sorry, and as he did so year by year, when she went up to the house of the Lord, so she provoked her, therefore she wept and did not eat. Sherry Queen Ododulu Manche. But nothing happened. But this particular day, okay, verse 8. Then Elikana, Elikana, real encouragement, encourager. Then Elikana, her husband. Then said Elikana to her, her husband, Hannah, why weepest thou? Why eatest thou not? And why is thy heart grieved? Am I not better than ten sons today? Wait for me. Wait for me. Some time ago, look up. Don't close your eyes. Some time ago, I didn't go for our landlord session meeting. Because we were doing some project and I didn't remember to pay our monthly vigilante fee. So some landlords now saw me, Pastor, we are meeting in Muni Moje Ward. Me, the tea son, me, the Nili Lord Joko. Ah, Odi Demi. One of the landlords said, Melo Leche, Muni Meta and Mufe some other son Tuesday. That time. He said, Meta Leche. Ah, Emma, your tea. I be Emma. Lay it about something to buy something. Me, money kilo de only the me to be made jaw. A median law meeting, Lara, when he can and yell. Gay little yelly jet, yelly legend. Uti jet business, or do yellow. Would that we encourage and to jet business? Yeah, a little lady jet. Ah, Mama Gomma, what is she with for me? Safu of a batty a jail. Don't ever form an association with discontent. Within, with those in debt. Are you hearing me? Don't ever accept their group. When, they, when the man said it, I, I was shocked. The second one too was going to the meeting. I said, Pastor, we're meeting. Money move sort of word there. Could they need that king joke? 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 Can you see? And when courage at you, you can't get it. You can't get it. You can't get it. Are you getting what I'm saying? They will be telling you, we live in Luleche, Genote, Tenronu. Yeah, George, give me the shiva. Ah, she bought you can't quit the first song. Ah, I want to do my song. I'll do my song. I just want to make you encourage. Those people are failures and they want to make you part of them. I love that man at the pool of Bethsaida for something. You know why he got his miracle? Even in heaven, they were looking at him. That this guy has not stopped trying. Let me tap that brother. He's not here. How will you leave your house? Comfortable bed. 
Eh? Now come to cheer. Is it because you are sitting on a royal banquet? Hello? Open your eyes. There are some of you, your life, and uh, I, um, I like your style. I like what you are doing. Before you came to your house, that front page was empty. Yes. Anytime I pass, I'm encouraged. You are a virtuous woman. But she got there and saw that shop can be here. To be woman, you could really like what you tell me and tell Abby? Nobody saw it until she came. Until she came. Your, your success is in your hand. Now, I'm still talking about the encouragement of Elikana. It can become a reason why some people are not moving. But that particular day, what did Hannah do? The other do, not to encourage me, but she didn't encourage me to go to the phone. Oh, there she be mercy. Oh, the phone will go to the phone. Oh, what's going to happen? And she was in bitterness of soul and she did what? And she prayed for the first time. Listen, do not allow the encouragement of Elikana, just like I said, to quench the desire for positive change that Penina's provocation stirred up in you. Don't allow it. Please don't allow it. When Penina provoke you, God is showing you something. Second way that God can show you vision. Number two. Number two. Number two. Write this down. Don't be blinded by envy. Be steered up. Sorry, instead, be steered up by other people's exploits. Now, which means that when God wants to give you a new vision, he will bring people that are doing exploits around you. Don't be blinded by envy. God is using it to show you something. She be in your colon loy, but she's okay Nigeria or that she be in your colon test you are doing. But she's okay when you want your visa. She be in your colon to get your loot. You watch your testimony. You want to be your Jew. When God shows you people that are progressing, he's talking to you. But so many people are blinded by what? Envy. So when they see somebody that is progressing, instead of them to allow their success to steer them up, they become jealous of them. Can you know what I'm saying? What is that? Huh? 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 Envy, Neil. She mo she man she loco like a John. I visited my grandma when she was still alive. To bati daro ba ita bati fe John. I want lo shano ileki jono ti malong bano. My grandma we take small small plate. Go to the next house. Collect charcoal. Ah, to this generation, they don't know it. Come to their own. Uh, uh, they do, Aru, Aru doesn't have English. Uh, Aru, uh, put it under. Bend down and begin to blow. The next thing, you see fire. But to this generation, Sherry, Ilarati Boju. If you see somebody that is doing what you are not doing, that you feel like doing, go and ask. I am going to the top. So don't be blinded by envy. Don't be blinded by envy. Be steered up by other people's exploits. When God brings prosperous people around you, listen, as either as mentors, as friends, as neighbors, don't envy them. Learn to dream like them. Learn wealth principles from them. Don't allow envy to blind your eyes. I'll take one more and we close. And I'll take the child dedication. Some of them can come as mentors. Look up. Let me tell you this story. When I was growing up, I didn't see 
much things that will steer me up to succeed in my biological father. Oh, try it here. I didn't see much in my mother. But when I saw my mentor, I saw his height. But I saw the great things he's doing. Urum is okay. Please learn. Number three, which is the last one for today? Number three. Do not allow fear to abort the vision God is showing you directly. Can you see that? God can also show you something directly. Either when you are hearing the word preaching, whether you are praying, God can be showing you something great about yourself. But most times, people don't understand that fear. When you allow the spirit of fear, ah, you look at yourself and the kind of vision crossing your mind, can I ever achieve this kind of thing in my life? So a lot of people at that point, they have bought their dreams because they allowed fear. Ah, I don't think I can do it. Ah, can I, are you sure? God is putting a picture in your mind and you are saying, are you sure I can? You can do it. We took a step of faith. Hear me. We took a step of faith that, okay, we just want to change some things at the, uh, the level project. Beloved, when we took that step of faith, there was nothing on ground. You know what God is always waiting for? God is waiting for our steps of faith. God is waiting for us to take courageous steps. But if you remain at the level of, ah, I don't think I have the power. You won't have the power. In fact, you won't even know the capacity you have until you take steps. So tell your neighbor for me, change the pictures in your mind. Then the last one. For the pictures in your mind to change, visit great places. Go to great places. When I went to Canaan land, I moved around. I saw the great things that God did. I kept asking myself, is this man? Is this man a human being? But when I had the privilege, the man of God came, that's Bishop Boyeniku, and hugged me. I, as he was hugging me, you know what? I was in his arm, I was touching his rib. In your knee. Uno le gungumbi te me. Then where he sat down like this, I sat like this. They serve us food. He was eating rice and therefore. I look at the rice he was eating and the rice I was eating. Because it was serve yourself. He went to the place, take, took his own. I took my own. The same thing, not like John Jay. And I said to myself, Lord, if you can do this in this man's life, you can do it in my life. Visit great places. So that you will not just die as a Gungpa champion. Labao champion. Ifele ye champion. Mama hili en labao. Bo hili ye kude challenge. Have you learned something today? To change the picture in your mind. Bow down your hands and begin to pray. Begin to thank the Lord for what you have had. Pray that God should help you. That every wrong picture... Lord, give me an encounter that will bring a change. Every wrong picture. Lord, give me the encounter that will make the wrong picture to fade off in my mind. Begin to pray for encounter with the Lord. Abraham had one encounter with God and his life changed. Lord, I begin to pray for encounter. Encounter, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name of prayer and amen. Let's get ready for child dedication. I will say. That's what I'm saying.